don't, don't, don't speak before it, it settles onto your face. I'll tell you that. Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My mirror is kind of bright at the moment. Let me see if I can tone that down. Uh, you know, that didn't work. <laughs> welcome back, as I just said. I am so happy that you're hanging out with me today. I hope you're happing. Happing? See, I can't do it. I just, I, I can't get through a video without it and uh, you're used to it. Happy Sunday for me. I don't know what day you're watching this. As always, if you are new here, welcome. My dad's TV is really, really loud in the back room. I think he's watching oh, SVU or something like that. So enjoy that in the background. I'm very excited for today's video because I have, well, you already know what I have, but I mean, I'm so excited about it. I have the entire box of the Wet n Wild Care Bears. I know that was a little dramatic, but I mean, come on, cuteness factor. I have my, as usual, amazing friend, Kara, to thank for this because she ordered it for me. I was actually gonna buy it myself because Wild is in a really, it's a fairly affordable brand as drugstore things go. And their collections, you can usually get the whole collection for like $60, which is, you know, a lot of money, but it's still to get a whole collection for that amount of money is really awesome. And I was going to get it, and she got it for me, and I got it in the mail just last night at, I picked it up at midnight, believe it or not, because I didn't know it was on my porch. So here it is the next morning, and I am so happy to be filming with it if I could get the words out. For the rest of my makeup, because obviously this isn't going to come with everything, I'm going to try to stick to drugstore. So again, the box is adorable, and I'm going to open it up and show you how it comes. I did take one thing out already because I need to get it wet, and of course I will make the confession that once I sit down to film, I can't get to the sink in my bathroom. The secret is, and there's my light, I'm using my simple human mirror because my eyes are bad today and I need um, the illumination. That's why I can't use my other one. That's neither here nor there. But I'm sitting outside my bathroom. My filming equipment is inside my bathroom and it blocks the sink. And if I wanted to wet the sponge, which I'm going to show you in a second, I can't get to it. Very long explanation for me to tell you that I took the sponge out and wetted it. So it has the little Care Bear rainbow on it. I'm hoping that you can see it. It is so adorable. I actually like the shape of it. It's like a little teardrop. So I will say sometimes wet and wild sponges don't always work the best for me because they are quite porous and I don't know, the texture sometimes just doesn't work but we are going to try it and do our best i am using a foundation that i know and love you know so whatever let's get into the box when you open it up i'm going to sit back a little so you can see it comes like this it's very beautifully packaged can you even hear me right now two layers the eyeshadow palette which i'm very excited to get to i haven't touched anything else is on the bottom and i'm excited about it and this collection comes with not only makeup but like a facial mist and it comes with this is called the resting bare face cleansing balm and i'm very excited about this because i love cleansing balms and i like to compare them and see what i like and the cuteness factor of course is definitely there i want to see what the consistency looks like okay it's kind of all over the place but it's blue it has a sweet scent, but it's almost a sweet, fresh scent, if that makes sense. It looks a little silicone-y, which is interesting. It's very oily, and I am very excited to see how it's going to rinse off, because that is one of the things that I look for in a cleansing balm. So that's a nice little addition for me to have and if it's reasonable and I like it as much as my higher end ones I'll probably go out and purchase that one you know what I mean so let me just put this over here and go over everything that comes in this collection box of course I do believe you can buy everything individually I will put the prices of everything I'll try to do them individually priced as well as the bundle box if it is still available I believe this just came to Ulta but Kara said that she bought this for me on Amazon so whatever links I can find whether or not they are affiliate I'm gonna to try to link them below for you so obviously the first thing I talked about was this adorable little sponge and it came in this cute little case 
and this is the Always Care A Lot sponge. And I'll just obviously show you the package and show you this. Considering the package, you can see that it did grow um, quite a bit when I did wet it. The next thing I have is called Friendship Goals. It is an eyelash curler and a mascara set. Ignore the nails, by the way, people. They are um, basura at the moment. And um, yeah, I, I didn't have time to do that. So unfortunately, this finger is missing and uh, this finger is missing. So hey, you know, what are you going to do? Life happens. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness gracious, the cuteness. I'm going to make the assumption that it's black and I am going to be using this today because I wanted to try the whole collection. And it has a moderately sized hourglass wand. It's not that huge hourglass shape, but it does have that. It's obviously, I said obviously twice, yeah, it's black. Okay, really? Like, really? Can we get any cuter? It's purple, my favorite color. It has, oh, it has a fairly soft uh, little cushion there. I will see how this works. I usually don't curl my lashes because I'm lucky enough that I have long lashes that naturally curl. But, you know, with this little guy on it, I'm, I'm going to want to, like, use this more often. And this is kind of like that silicone -y little squishy thing. It's not really squishy. You know what I mean. It's just cute. Let's just put it that way. It's cute. It even comes with a Brighten Your Day Priming Serum in an adorable little packaging. It's yellow. It's bright. It's sunny. Let me shake this. Oh, it's got a citrusy scent to it. It's fairly thin and water-like. I happen not to mind scented products, but if you do, it's... I'd say it's moderately to highly scented. This is just called the Pick Me Up Facial Mist. And I did take a look at the ingredients and it does not have denatured alcohol. Let's see what the sprayer is like, because I'm going to actually spray this on my face. Looks pretty good. Okay, this one does have kind of a sweet florally scent. Not my favorite, but the mister is beautiful. So that felt very refreshing on my skin because it's getting a little bit warm in here. Hot flash, I don't know, but it's getting a little warm in here. It also comes with the Get Through the Night Setting Spray. I also looked at the ingredients in this, and this does not have denatured alcohol either. The first ingredient is water. The second ingredient is glycerin. So I don't know how long this is going to make your makeup last, but I like that it has not harsh ingredients. Same type of mister, apparently. You are getting four glosses in here as well. Once I do the try-in, I'm going to try on all of these. I don't know which one I'm going to finish with. It depends upon the look that I'm going to do. But once I do my look, I will name and swatch all of these for you. Here we have the Do What You Love blush. I will be swatching this once I get to it. This is the Let Your Light Shine highlighter, and it looks like a very sparkly, glittery, goldish highlighter. I don't mind them sometimes, but I will let you know once I use it, you know, what the texture is, how it enhances or does not enhance any texture or anything. We also have a Live Laugh Hug Bronzer. I mean, the cuteness, absolutely adorable. This It looks kind of chocolatey. Let's put it that way. I'm going to see how that tone works on my skin tone. I just can't. This is called the Give Me TLC Lip Care Kit. Really? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, they look like giant gummy bears. I mean, can you can you just? This is a hard plastic. How cute would it have been if they made these rubberized? This is the Make It Sweet Lip Scrub, which I will try. And this is the Play Sleep Repeat Lip Mask, which I'm going to put on anyway just to moisturize my lips. I can't wait to try those, and I just want to display them. If I had a nice place to display things, that would be lovely. One day, my friends, one day I will have my dream set up for my filming space. It will be all my own. You're also getting the Free to Shine and the Stand Out and Shine. These are two glitter gels. I don't think that I will be using these. I may swatch them, but then I may give them to my little cousin. I'm not really sure, but I mean, they are absolutely adorable. And then, of course, what we have all been waiting for, the Caring 
Counts Eyeshadow Palette, which I'm looking at the colors that I can see through here. It definitely has a glitter, but it has like some greens and purples and pinks, and I think that the combination is going to be really, really appealing that you can get some nice looks out of it. Getting into Wet n Wild products, by the way, is um, never, how shall we say, easy. <laughs> I will just quickly show you the palette. I'm not going to swatch anything yet, but it appears that it has like a marbled shade over here, which is like just a new thing, I, I'm assuming, since everyone seems to be doing it. They do not have the names on the shadows themselves. They are on the back. I will try. <laughs> I make no promises, but I will try to name them. But I actually like the color story. It's a little pastel-y, but really ones that I think I'm going to enjoy, especially I think the purples and everything. And um, it's so funny how things look so different in the viewfinder than when I look at them in person. The embossings are really, really adorable, especially this one. I have to show you. I'm going to get a close-up of it. It is eighth note two eighth notes. Why can't I say that? It's two eighth notes and hello, music, me, you know, did they do it right? Yeah, they, they, they did it right except that it was hard, but that's okay. So that is the entire collection and I am very excited to get into it and put some of this stuff on my face. The first thing that I want to do is just uh, spray myself again with, you know, that mist because um, I have to sell you. It's, um, couldn't get that out. It really felt kind of nice. Again, having a little bit of trouble. Don't, don't, don't speak before it, it settles onto your face. I'll tell you that. It feels really nice. I think I'm going to enjoy it in the summer. I'm not thrilled about the scent. I will just put it out there. <laughs> Next up, of course, I have to try this priming serum. Once again, it's called the Brighten Your Day Serum. Now, I did just look at the ingredients. I don't understand why for a priming serum, the third ingredient is denatured alcohol, but it has glycerin as a second ingredient. They may counteract each other. I'm going to take a hit for the team and I am going to try it on my face. It really has, oh, you know now, once I like get it over here, I can totally smell the denatured alcohol, I will tell you that. It has a citrusy scent with an underlying scent of the alcohol. How often I will use this, I don't know if it makes my makeup stay on well. I would probably use it occasionally, but as I said, you know if you've been here, denatured alcohol is not a product that I want to use on the daily basis, at least when it's like the second and third ingredient. It feels very nice and it doesn't feel drying. As I had mentioned, I did want to keep everything drugstore today, so I am using... This is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth in the sh shade 125 Nude Beige. Now this is a little bit too yellow for me, so I did bring out my LA Girl Mixer, the Pro foundation mixing pigment. You can see how much I've actually used of this because so many of my foundations are too yellow and I was getting tired of like settling for that. So now I use this and it neutralizes any yellow based foundation. This is not very expensive. I believe it is under $10 and you can always find LA Girl on sale and it's fabulous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, by the way, my nickname is Scatterbrained in case uh, you did not know that. Of course I want to try the lip scrub before I put on my foundation because wouldn't that just like make sense? I mean really. So again the cuteness factor. Make it sweet. It has a cupcake on it and you know part of me inside is really hoping that it, it smells like cupcake. Okay this is not what I expected whatsoever. It is actually in a it's like a bomb form and you're not getting very much. I totally expect it to like have to stick my finger in it, but no, it just comes like this and okay, let, let's just shut up. Let me just shut up. You're not shutting up because you're not talking. I'm gonna try this. Okay, I'm waiting for the scrubbies. Still don't feel any scrubbies. It has a bit of a rougher 
texture and as you can see see how you it like looks like gritty a little bit I mean it just feels moisturizing and there's like maybe one granule of something it didn't feel scrubby I'm not mad at it though I I have to say I'm not mad at it um I just don't I yeah I I don't even feel a need to wipe it off. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I haven't decided yet. The Play, Sleep, and Repeat. I'm wondering what this is going to be like now. I'm going to make an assumption that it's the same formula type thing. And this one is blue. Oh, this one I don't like the smell of. Wow. No, this has a chemically smell to it. But I'm going to do it. I, it didn't smell terribly while I was putting on my lips. But when you purposely inhale this, you get that chemical scent. I would say it felt a little bit more moisturizing than the scrub. But I really don't see a difference. But I don't think I would use just this at night. Uh, I don't think it would be moisturizing enough. But for daytime, I think I would like it a lot. Now, let's do the smart thing and put my foundation on. One thing I dislike about this tremendously is that it does not have a pump because I have to either put it on a mixing metal pan or glass thingy, whatever you want to call it, which which I do have. Um, am I too lazy to go get it or use it on the regular? Yeah. So I have to shake this like three or four times onto my finger. Now you can see how yellow that is. Look. But I will put about one pump of this. Actually, that wasn't one pump. That was probably half a pump. And I just, you know, do the normal thing and mix it. Mix it with my hand. I'll just slap that all over my face. And let's see. The sponge is pretty good. I like uh, the size of it and this nice little big bottom that it has. I'm not trying to shame it in any way. This one performs a lot better than one that I got around Halloween time. It might have been like the Simpsons or something to that effect. I didn't like the texture of that one. And the sponge did a really nice job. I turned my lights way up on my mirror and I didn't see any cakiness and it seemed to, you know, have blended really pretty seamlessly. Uh, so I think I'm going to enjoy using this a lot and it's nice to use a sponge that is probably $6 or under. I think it's all preference. Every, everything is personal preference. Also sticking with drugstore, I've been really enjoying this NYX. Did I say what it was? Nope. It's a concealer. It's the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum, and I have it in the color light. And um, I lost the cap, of course I did. And it is pretty much a very good color for me. Now I can see this is going to be very difficult to use under my eyes. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to. Words, I'm going to use my finger. I can say I don't have very wrinkly under eyes but I guess I have textured under eyes and that's why the concealer never seems to look good on me. <laughs> well, this is interesting. I figured I'd try it. Why not? Now, this doesn't come with a setting powder, so uh, I forgot to go get one. So why don't I go do that and uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to try to choose a drugstore as well. well. It took me a minute to uh, go get my powder. I want to use my classic Cody Airspun powder. This will always, even though my cap is broken, <laughs> this will always be one of my favorite classic drugstore powders that is super affordable. And I'm using it with my $125 brush, my Beauty Lush brush. What can I say? It works great with a not... $125 brush. Next up we have the Live Laugh Hug bra strap. Nope. <laughs> There's no bra strap in the name there whatsoever, but um, yeah, Live Laugh Hug bronzer. I wish they had come out with several different shades in this. The embossing is absolutely freaking adorable. It's got a little heart in there. This is quite dark, so let's um, let's see what happens here. This is the Little Twin Stars collection. I mean, their brush is so cute. Did Was this supposed to come with a brush set? Did it come? Are there brushes? I I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's see. 
Well, it's not bad. I expected like this huge dark streak on my face, but it did not do that, which is nice. Well, I think it's obvious that you can build it up because I've been doing it for a little bit and the color is getting more intense. And do you know, let me turn this up. It's smooth. It blended well. Um, and I kind of like the tone on me. Yeah, I kind of like it. Okay. Nice to have a drugstore bronzer that um, I'm appreciating for sure. Oh, now let's do the do what you love blush. It looks like it's going to be a peachy, pinky, eyesight, crappy. Oh, where'd that come from? Oh, and this one has the little double hearts on it. You know what I should have done? Uh, oh, very smooth. I should have swatched it on my hand first, which I'm going to do. And I'm going to do that with the bronzer as well. Did I forget to be how to be a out <laughs> good YouTuber? I forgot how to speak. I'll, I'll tell you that. But there is the blush and the bronzer. The blush looks very light. Let's see how I can build it up. The Both of them are just with one swatch, by the way. I'm using the other Wet n' Wild brush. Uh, I do not know what collection this is from. This blush is really pretty on my skin tone. Again, very, very blendable and smooth. Pigmented, but not when you put it on your face and it gets stuck. I really, really like it so far. I think the tone, again, on my skin tone is really, really pretty. But let's get into this eyeshadow palette. I am so excited. I don't know what I want to do. I know I always go for the purple looks. Should I go for like... I wish you could just answer me. <laughs> First, let me swatch the palette. Again, I've heard mixed things on whether you enjoy or don't enjoy swatches, but I'm just going to swatch it. If you want to skip through it, that's okay too. They don't feel like Natasha Denona shadows, but they feel pretty nice. This one feels very interesting as a shimmer. Wow, it really swatched tremendously well. That limish green is actually really, really pretty. It's more impressive in person than it is on camera. And this darker uh, green is also quite nice. Uh, not as pigmented as you might think it would be. Okay, this is the entire second row, just in case you want to know. We have glitters here. This is glitter, this one, and this last one. I'm going to go over the other shades. This glitter in my opinion, you do not want to wear without a glitter glue because it seems like you're going to get it in your eyeballs. This one is a little bit more adherent. Matte is pretty nice. This shimmer is pretty nice. I think this is the Music Note one, which is adorable. This glitter is the weirdest one I've ever seen. It's somewhere between a mix of a glitter and a metallic, but it took about six times for me to get that type of opacity. And again, I would feel like I would want to wear a glitter glue with it. I wouldn't trust it to just stick to your eyeballs. Very odd. I mean, this time it picked up better, but it didn't before. Now that's weird. My finger got a little bit sweaty. Was there type of some topping or coating on it that prevented me from picking it up? I don't know. It's very different. I'm going to have to think about how and when I wear that because, again, nobody wants to get glitter in their eyeballs. Okay, this is a little disappointing. This was with one swipe each. And this light purple, barely showing up. The second one, this marbleized one, again, has that interesting texture to it. And that is the second there. This lavender, it is a shimmer but it's a very dry shimmer and okay now it showed up on that second swatch this one swatched pretty well that was just one and that's that purpley matte and then there is the blue matte which is a little bit weak now the only purple matte is this darker purple but i like to go in with a bit of a lighter color and i don't want to necessarily go in with this tan so i'm going to go in with a pink first as just to lay down some color you know as a transition and then i'm going to play with the purples i think i may do another look if you guys want to see it uh i guess we'll find out right i'm going to use another wet and wild brush and i'm going to take the pink one here now, I'm not using eye primer on purpose because I just have concealer. Uh, 
some people, you know, don't use eye primer, and I want to give a good representation for those who choose not to. I had to stop for a few minutes. I am back. Wasn't too, too long, so not like anything's changed. But let's just say I'm switching to this instead of my coffee. Who needs a glass? What I was about to do is I was about to look in my mirror just to see. I mean, that's not bad. It's pretty smooth. This isn't a uh, try to get ready with me. Uh, but if it is, oh boy, would you get an earful? I'm also using my favorite, which is the Cinema Secrets Quick Cleaner. Uh, you just spray it, you wipe your brush on a tissue, and it dries almost immediately so that you can go back in and use it again. So now that I've got that pink laid down, I want to use this darker purple. And wow, okay, I just stamped that down there. This swatched a little bit patchy. Let's see how it works. I'm also going to use the same brush and do my bottom waterline. I am going to take a bit of a fluffier brush and just do a little bit of blending. Oh yeah, Vin, you blend. Put down below if you know what I'm talking about. I will say the purple is just a little bit stuck. In other words, I'm not getting any more of a soft blend maybe I would have wanted. Going back in with my dual-sided wet and wild brush, I'm going to take this mid-toned purple somewhere between a shimmer and a matte, sort of. Okay, with the shadow dry, it's very light. I'm not going to lie there. Um, I am going to spray it once and see if that makes a difference. A little bit I mean not huge let's go out with my finger see it doesn't seem like it almost seems like a topper if you look at my finger although it's easier I don't think the finger made much of a difference to be completely honest it's not that BAM in your face type of shimmer I don't know if it's intended to be though the one thing I will say is that there is not any fallout so I went in a bunch of times to get this level of opacity. Let's try the lightest purple here. I just flipped my brush around. So I thought this one was a shimmer, but it's... Let me swatch it on my hand again. Hold on. It's interesting. It has some sheen, but it's not like a um, metallic or anything. It's pretty though, and it's opaque. Okay, it's a matte with some sparkle, is what it appears, I think, to be. It's kind of a nice touch because it just adds a little bit of, like, brightness to the look. What I do want to do is take this marbled shade. Oh, no, that completely makes an amazing amount of difference. I'm going to go back in with the darkest purple because I did lose some of that depth, I think. See, now adding that back in, I think, at least from what I can tell, um, I don't know, it makes a little bit of a difference. Okay, so I am back. Let me just tell you very quickly what I used on my eyes for whatever. <laughs> I am using the LA Girl Glide Gel Eyeliner in Black on my upper waterline. On my bottom waterline, I'm using the Oh LA Girl Pink uh, Liner, which sometimes uh, can make me look a little... I don't know what, but I didn't have a purple, so I used the pink, but I still think it works. And then, of course, my favorite, I think, drugstore is the Koki liner. This is a little baby one that expands. Uh, this is fantastic. It's a mini. It's a few dollars, and I love it. It is a liquid eyeliner, and I use that on my top borderline. On my brows, I have to keep going back to my tried and true LA Girl. It's called Inspiring Brow Kit and Medium. 
and this actually comes with a little baby spoolie and an applicator and a tweezer. I sometimes use them in a pinch, but you can see how much I have used this thing, so you can tell that I really do enjoy it. Duration, this is the Let Your Light Shine Highlighter. Oh my goodness, it's got a little sun in it. See if it can catch. There you go. Isn't that cute? I shall swatch it. This has um, a bit of a texture to it. Very gold. Not glitterly, glitterly, <laughs> glitterly, not glittery as I suspected, but very gold and it looks like very blingy. And let's just put her on this face and see how she does. This is the Persona double sided brush that I got in one of my boxes. And I'm going to use this end. Let's see what she does here. Okay, it is a little textury. Let me switch brushes and see if that has any effect on anything. I'm actually going to use this brush that I use for the eyeshadow cleaner real quick. Okay, it goes on a little bit lighter with a less dense brush such as this. I will say it's not my favorite highlighter. I can see if you have texture on your skin, it's most definitely going to show the texture on your skin. It's not as smooth and such. I can't even see it in the viewfinder. I don't know when I go into editing if it's going to show up or anything. But in my mirror here, like, I can see it and it's not the most flattering. I did add a little bit to my brow bone, which is very pretty. And I am going to add a little bit to my inner corner, which I think will look really pretty. I think for your inner corner, it's absolutely stunning and I love that. Now, before I do my mascara, I always spray my face first. So we're going to use their quote unquote setting spray, which I don't think is really going to set anything, but we're gonna try it anyway. It actually feels beautiful going on the skin. I don't like the scent whatsoever, but um, it's just soft and I don't know if it made a difference in anything, but it sure feels good. Let's curl my brows using this adorable little device and then we're going to try the mascara and then I'm going to swatch all of the lip products. Very, very comfortable to use. It did not pinch my eyes. It fit, fit well over my eyelashes as you can see. Own. But let's try this mascara which is adorable. Love the packaging. Okay, very comfortable to use. This has like a brush applicator, not the hard bristles, so it wasn't uncomfortable. That is with one coat. I can see a difference, and there is absolutely no clumping whatsoever. Okay, my friends, that is one coat on both eyes. Let me close my eyes for you. I'm going to look to the right, and then I'm going to look to the left. <laughs> so you guys can get a good look at it. Um, yeah, I mean... For a light look, I would definitely go out like this. I just happen to like a very dramatic lash. Again, personal preference. Okay, second coat went on extremely nicely. Definitely made a difference. I really like it. No clumping. It also went on my bottom lashes beautifully. I think I'm going to really enjoy this mascara, and I cannot wait to try it on with some of my um, mascara primers. So quite happy with it. Now let's get to the lips stuff. You got four, four glosses? Yeah, four glosses. Let me go over the names and do some swatches for you. Okay, the packaging on those things is a veritable nightmare to get into. I could easily, more easily break into a bank than I could getting into these. I even just left half the paper on. Oh my goodness. This is Sing Out Loud. It is basically a clear with some sparkle. Let's see. You are not even going to be able to see the swatch on my hand, obviously, but let's... Oh yeah, actually you can. Alrighty, let's try this. Okay, they feel super comfortable. I did have to dip in quite a few times, and you can see this is just a nice clear gloss with a little bit of sparkle, something I would most definitely wear on a regular basis. This one is called Share a Smile. Again, difficult to see. Here it is. There's a slight difference between the two. They definitely have like a cupcake type scent, but it is not overwhelming whatsoever. Again, very nice, not sticky. It has that, you know, slip to it. 
that I actually happen to enjoy. This one just has a slight bit more of a pigment color, so that's this one. Share a smile. Like it. We'll be wearing it. This one is Spread the Love, a little bit more pinky. Quite a bit more pigment than the others, but it is still definitely sheer. I don't think this one has much of the glitter in it. Just enough of a hint of a color, at least for me anyway, and this is Spread the Love. I like this one. I can definitely see me wearing this one as well. This is definitely a pinky or red type of color, and it's called Free Hugs, which I love. Yeah, this one is still sheer, but it has, as I said, that different tone to it completely. Let's see how this one looks. Also, just a hint of color, but again, I really like it. These are all that I will definitely probably use up. Definitely, probably. I don't know where I come up with these things. I'll probably use this one up too. Again, this one is free hugs. So let's go over the entire collection and I will let you know my thoughts, at least for the first impressions anyway. These two face mists, I don't really see a difference when I looked at the ingredients. I didn't see a gigantic difference in them because the scents really don't thrill me. You know how I feel about florals, but the packaging is absolutely adorable. The serum, I'm disappointed in the denatured alcohol. This is the Brighton your day primer my makeup went on top of it beautifully i think you know i had no problem there i will see how i feel and if i really want to use this or if i want to pass it on to somebody who doesn't really mind um the denatured alcohol in it the make it sweet lip scrub so far as i said it felt more like a bomb i didn't really feel much of any type of exfoliation but i will continue to play with it and see if it gets any better but i'm keeping it i mean just because the packaging alone is so darn cute there's no way i can't use this as decor and the play sleep repeat i will probably use this more as a daytime bomb rather than a nighttime bomb i'm just too accustomed to the thick occlusive that the lineage and several other ones give me but again packaging a plus these glitter gels could absolutely be fun for someone who enjoys so that maybe I can either donate them or give them to my little cousin and she just may enjoy using them wherever. It's a fun little thing, just not, you know, something that I enjoy. The Live Laugh Hug Bronzer is one that I will definitely enjoy. I like the tone very much on me, which surprised me. It is buildable, it is smooth, and it blended really, really nicely. The Do What You Love Blush is also a very pretty tone. They actually surprised me because I wasn't sure about how it would look, and I am very happy with how it turned out. The highlighter is the one disappointment for me. The Let Your Light Shine, it works great for me as a brow highlight in a corner, but I'm probably going to pass this one on said because I think it's for younger skin. For me, at my age, it looks too textured, and I have so many other highlighters that I really do enjoy and love, so this one's eh, not my favorite. The sponge performed really, really nicely. I think it uh, made my makeup apply uh, flawlessly for the most part. I'm very excited to try this cleansing balm. I am very specific about my cleansing balm, so I cannot wait to give you my feedback on that. The eyelash curler was really nice. I know that they're not expensive, and the cute little detail just gives it a little bit of extra something that you know, I'm going to enjoy. This mascara impressed me. I haven't gone out and purchased a Wet n Wild mascara in a very, very long time, so I'm very happy to have this. I'm hoping that the formula isn't just for this particular set, and it's something that you can purchase after. I'm going to have to look into that, but I definitely like what it did to my lashes. The eyeshadow palette, I think it has potential. Granted, I only did use, you know, four or five colors. I think this might be something that maybe you can wait to get it on sale because it, it does perform pretty well. I'm very, very happy, but you know, you're not going to get that high-end performance out of it, which I don't think I would expect, but I still like the outcome. I can't wait to try the other ones and I can't wait to report back upon these glitters because I want to see, you know, how they stay on my eyes and especially how they work with the glitter glue. I think it performed much better than the swatches did, so that's my thought about this. But the colors are super fun. I mean, it's Care Bears. It's Care Bears. I mean, really. And lastly, I absolutely love the glosses. Is it creeping? Uh, okay. Maybe I put it on too thickly, but it did creep a little bit into my corners, which is not always a favorite of mine. 
uh, but it doesn't feel sticky, it's not gloopy, and they're all colors that I will definitely wear and enjoy. But let me know what you think. Did you like the look I got? Did you pick up any of these products? What do Care Bears mean to you guys? I would love to know. Thank you again, Kara, for giving me the opportunity to review this whole collection. You know I love you, my friend. Thank you so much for going through this with me and for sitting through just, you know, just me. <laughs> because I appreciate you guys so much, and I hope you know that. You are wonderfully, amazingly people, and I really do hope you guys have an amazing day or an amazing night wherever you are, and I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye, guys. Love you.